Yep, yep, yep. What's going on, YouTube Snipes here with TKO Gaming here with episode three of The Art of Osiris Trace, baby. We made it. Yeah, I release one episode a week. I will try my best to improve on that. You guys know me. My name is Snipes, and I would love to make more videos for you guys, but unfortunately I can't. There's a lot of reasons why. I don't want to make excuses, but Destiny needs a little bit more content. One, and two, I need more time in my life, man. Full-time job and all the other hectic stuff that I'm doing. I really wish I could game all the time. So for you, those of you who are watching and can game all the time, whenever you want, man, I am jealous, but I freaking love you because you deserve it, man. Just keep doing it, have fun with it, and enjoy it while it lasts, because it may not last forever, but hopefully it does. So uh, this episode is pretty special for a few reasons. One, being it's Asylum, it's my favorite map. I've been waiting for this map for six months, and you guys know TKO Gaming has been helping with Trials since week one of the origination of Trials of Osiris. And two, I'm using um, Shade Step. I've never used this class before. You guys know I am the Ark blade hunter i'm always arc blade hunter but the reason why i'm using shade step is i'm actually double carrying in this episode i'm actually playing on the playstation 4 as well on the real tko gaming account on the playstation 4 and we're going at it with a double carry now i don't want to take away from the people i'm playing with these dudes showed great improvement and that's what it's all about you guys when i play with my viewers when i play with supporters when we get you to the lighthouse I don't even care about the lighthouse as much as I care about you improving individually. And that's what we like to do. We like to tell you in, in the game. I wish, I mean, I'll sh it, let me know in the comments below if you guys want games with live commentary. I, I, this is a live commentary afterwards, but I'm like literally live. Because as you guys can see, all that cool overlay stuff you see with the TKO gaming on your screen, that's actually from the live stream. We, you know, you can hear everyone talking, you can hear all of us communicating uh you know formulating strategies and stuff so if you guys want to see uh like a couple matches or like even a 9-0 run of just straight commentary raging uh teamwork and just like you know giving kudos to the team and all that just let me know that's gonna be I i'd be i'd love to do that for you guys um but i mean i would encourage you guys to also just come to the stream yourself um it's not a hostile environment at all we welcome you as you guys see when you guys hit the follow a little welcome to the family notification pops up um, and we just, you know, we're trying to improve and that's what it's all about. Everything in life, everything you should do, you should just, whatever you do, just try your best to continue to improve. Um, and man, I just want to thank every single one of you guys for your guys' support. It's, it's phenomenal. It blows my mind how much you guys have supported TKO Gaming. And <clears throat> hopefully one day I can, I can just, you know, do that much more for you guys. But anyways, I'm running Shade Step. I'm trying to get some cool snipes. I mean, sniping in Shade Step is a lot of fun. And this this class is really really made to just do more than just one one person can. So that's why I'm using it, um, you know, in this uh, in this double carry, and um, you know, just the teamwork that my teammates have on collapsing on these guys is great. So the technique we use on this map and most of the maps, because as you guys, have, if you guys haven't checked out episode one and two of Art of Osiris, you should check it out. But the, really, the objective is to be the aggressive team, to kind of be that team that goes and just handles business from the get go. Now, I kind of took the take of the double carry. You got to play a little bit more conservative. You got to play with a little bit more strategy. And having said that, that's why, as you guys know, I'm shade stepping and I'm also sniping. The reason why I'm shade stepping is because um, of the super. The tether super is great. It, you know, it shuts down the uh, opposing team's supers. And I think that's a great, great thing. Now here, as you guys see, if I'm dancing or sitting down, that, that allows me to peek around the corner. Another strategy that you can use for that is actually just pulling out your sword if you have a sword as a heavy, which most people don't. But if you play sweats, um, and if you don't know what that is, come by to the stream. We'll educate you on that. Uh, it's just pretty much competitive destiny. Small little commu uh, community of just competitive destiny players. But um, yeah, you guys, like Shade Step sniping, trying my best to just get one orb down and then my team just collapses on the other team now the only reason we're playing super super conservative right now is because we actually don't have a mercy we lost a game yeah yeah tko gaming can lose games too but we do guarantee you guys lighthouse like we were like hey we're gonna get lighthouse and then just check out the snipe work on this the connection got a little bit laggy and you as you guys know um bungie's uh, recent update they're really really being proactive on the on the connection changes man and it's moving more 
to connection-based matchmaking rather than skill-based matchmaking, and I really do appreciate that. So shout out to Bungie for that. Um, I think that's a great thing that they're doing for the people um, because look at the connections in the lobby right now. Jeez, that's horrible. Um, but yeah, you know what? That's pretty much what we're doing. I'm I'm really saving my super for their super, but as you guys will notice, um, I kind of utilize it in an incorrect way later on. Um, and I'm telling my my the teammates that I'm with, we have uh, an arc blade, I believe, an arc blade and a self res warlock on our team, and we're just like, hey, let's just make sure that we really utilize our super. Supers are very important. If you have a good build in Trials of Osiris. Three supers can almost guarantee you three rounds if you use them correctly, right? Because you should at least be able to kill one person with it, with your super. And when that happens, you're you're ahead. You know, it's it becomes a two v three, and you should be able to close it out or a three v two, whichever way you look at it. But you know, I'm dying here. This team that we're playing against is really making this comeback right now. Um, well, I'm just like, hey guys, we don't have a mercy, and we just got to kick ourselves into gear. And that's one of my main focuses when I play with play with you guys, whether it be just re regular. I mean, regular is always fun, but in Trials of Osiris, you know, I'm all about having fun. But let's focus, you know, the teams that we should be, we just got to beat them. And then, I mean, if there's a team that's just better than us, that they just outplay us, I mean, hey, whatever. We'll take the loss, but we'll learn from it, right? What could we have done differently to possibly change the outcome so, you know, big shout out to the people I'm playing with. Big shout out to everybody that I played with. There's so many people that come play with us every single week. They support us so much. And I'm just like, hey, these guys are improving constantly. And they know it. They know that they're improving constantly. So I just want to give you guys a shout out to continue to just improve. There's going to be more content in Destiny, guys. Don't get mad at Bungie. Don't get mad at Activision. A lot of you guys are like, oh, Division's going to kill this game. I'm excited for the Division 2. But that doesn't necessarily mean that destiny is gonna die i think destiny has a long long way to go i think the fan base i think the community in general of destiny is amazing this community is freaking amazing now one cool thing that you guys will notice i don't know i think i've already missed it but no it's not, it'll actually come here i think um when they throw their grenade uh warlocks throw their firebolt grenade with viking funeral you can dodge it just like that just like you just saw with shade step I honestly think Shade Step is the best class in this game if you know how to use it. If you know about my brother, I believe he is an amazing Shade Stepper. That dude can Shade Step destroy kids. And he plays Claw, he doesn't have a scuff controller or anything. If you guys don't know what Claw Gaming is, you actually use your index finger for the A, X, Y, and B buttons um, while you use your middle finger for the trigger uh, and it allows you to have a little bit more control. So, you know, big shout out to him. He's a monster with claw. Um and he's and that's his class, the Shade Step class, and I'm the I'm the arc class. But I'm thinking about moving over until I really hope Bungie fixes the Arc Blade, you guys. Arc Blade is hands down the worst super in the game. Um it's just so bad. It's so bad. It can get shut down by any super. Even a Radiance Warlock can shit on an Arc Blade. It just doesn't connect, the hits don't connect, you can get just baby bladed so easily. And it just absolutely sucks. So, um, anyways, back to Trials of Osiris. Uh, you want to always make sure that you go for revives. I, I've said this in every single episode. Revives are so crucial, you guys. It's very easy for a team. And that's why we have at least two people to wear a crest of Alpha Lupi. Because it's so easy for a team to get more kills than the other team. But still lose because the other team just had more revives. It's that simple. And so, just keep that in mind as you guys continue to play this amazing game of destiny and yeah to the, uh, this week's map is um what's that pantheon and that's a great sniping map so please do come check us out on the live stream we'll be showing some sniping and shotgunning and shade stepping and arc blading and all that beautiful stuff action we'll be carrying people to the lighthouse as we do every single weekend so please do come drop a follow in the stream. All the links are in the description below. And if you like this video, guys, and you want to see more, please do give that beautiful thumbs up. Let's see if we can get like two and a half, two and a half thumbs up. If we can get that, you guys will see a video next week as well. And I'll try my best to continue to put out videos. Maybe one day I'll be able to do this full time. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Snipes is out, you guys. Stay blessed. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the stream. Peace out.